Hey there, how are you doing? Team Nokia Power User here and we welcome you all to the hands-on review of the Build 14393.189. Microsoft class pushed the Build 14393.189 to, win, to all, everyone running the Windows 10 Mobile Anniversary update, the official one. So uh, the build brings with itself lots of fixes and improvements. So it is uh, not expected to bring new features or changes, but it does bring lots of fixes and improvements. And while many of them are listed in the official change log, as per the reports, it seems that the build is very, very stable and very good and it fixes uh, even the issues which are not in the official change log. So <clears throat> we will just uh, share our installation experience. We will do hands on with the build. We will check how everything like performance, multitasking, fluidity, it seems like or it works like on this build. We will share our experience of how the battery life is. And obviously, we will also talk about if there are any issues with the build. So coming to the installation experience. So when we talk about installation experience, it seems that uh, I mean, usually the installation experience across has been very smooth. I, we have not uh, seen any issues on our devices when we installed it. And we have heard from our uh, readers that it has been smooth for them as well. So it took around 30 to 35 minutes for everyone to, uh, you know, I mean, install it and then restart and then the data migration and everything so it, it happens like if your network is too fast it can happen like 20 25 minutes slower 30 35 or at max like 40 45 minutes so it is quite good actually in that way so <clears throat> coming to how it works so it is very very smooth actually we talk about things like scrolling then So as you can see everything works like quite smooth in a homogeneous way and that is the like uh, these are the signs that the build is good uh, I mean bug free kind of so most of the times most of the things you see that the bugs are uh, usually not there the annoying bugs which actually mar your user experience they are usually not present here. So coming to things like uh, how the multitasking works like so we will just check the multitasking we can also open some games so that we can understand how the multitasking works under pressure or when it is like heavily used so let's kind of open uh, one or two games and then we will go also open the browser we will open the apps and then we can also check the settings how the how it is like across the os so basically uh, I mean, if we talk about a OS to be stable, then it should not crash. Apps, apps should be, uh, they should open and they should work fine, just fine. You know, they should not be crashing or giving issues, especially the native apps. So we will check all the aspects here so that we can have an idea and tell you that, okay, this is just working perfectly. Okay. <laughs> so let's send it to the background. We can open one more game. <clears throat> so let's open Temple Run 2. Let's send it to the background. Let's go for the browser then. So as you can see, the browser usually uh, works fine. So 
Uh, we have even seen on the build like 14393, another 14393.67 and the, the builds like is a build which went for the RTM, it's the RTM build and we saw that browser always worked so uh, well. Uh, so all the things like page loading was quite fast uh, the panning smoothing, panning was quite panning and zooming etc. Are quite smooth, quite good. So uh, here also we have uh, multiple tabs open. So three tabs are there. Okay, let's send you the background and now we can open the store and see how the store works like. Usually store is, has been quite good and smoothly working on the build 1493.189. So, <clears throat> let's send you the background. We can open maps as well to see just uh, to find out how it works so it's okay it's a new maps app quite fast actually it uh, could i mean the satellite uh, locking is really fast in a way that it could find it so soon let's send it to the background as well now let's check the multitasking part. So let's see how uh, UWP app a game like Subway Surfer resumes. And it resumed really well, quite fast actually. Impressive. We don't expect it, uh, the Temple Run 2 to resume fast, but it should at least resume and should not crash. So it resumed but as you can see it's not a uwp game so it obviously cannot you know kind of be as good or as fast as subway surfer now let's try to resume the browser <clears throat> and browser resumes quite fast So let's send it to the background again. Now let we can quickly check uh, how the uh, settings etc. So let's just check the navigation of the settings. So because it's also very important. So here we are with the version number 14393.189 the latest. So as you can see the good thing is the kind of homogeneous or uniform experience uniform kind of you know feel that you get across the os and coming to bugs and issues if we like you have seen that the os is very stable the the native apps they, they really work well we have not seen many instances where we can say that we are not uh, impressed with the smoothness of the native apps they really work well so we try to open all the uh, you know this kind of apps which which can actually like the maps etc which usually give some issues at times but uh, on the build 0.189 everything really works very very smoothly so we have now this build for some time on our device but it, it really works well and it really impresses so uh, as we have earlier uh, said that redstone uh, had that kind of feeling that kind of uh, it was it is faster obviously if you compare to threshold it is always faster 
it feels smoother and there are less bugs and issues so we go with that uh, kind of theme again and with 0.189 the experience is an hour uh, opinion the best that you will get even on redstone so microsoft has really worked hard it seems and really have uh, made it smooth coming to the battery life the battery life has been very very good don't really go on what shows here it is due to some uh, miscalibration but even on a, a device like lumia 550 the battery life is quite good with the uh, build 0.189 and we have seen that it really lasts long so uh, if you uh, if we can tell you so on average if you do kind of heavy work heavy multitasking heavy apps usage etc it can easily last more than 24 hours so like 24 20 hours 8 hours is given if you use the battery server and you know if you can somehow use the tips that we have shared for battery life it can even last longer so i mean in that way i can just tell you or we can recommend it's a very good uh, daily driver kind of build that everybody can use on their devices so if you are using anniversary updates official version you should uh, i mean we will recommend that you update to it because it really offers very good experience and not only os if you go to the lock screen as well we have seen that everything really works well quite smooth and we have just shown that the multitasking works so well we just uh, demoed the gaming part, uh, gaming part as well and it you would not see that there are like issues here so the especially the uwp games they really resume very very fast and the apps resume is awesome very very nice quite impressive for us Okay, with that, we come to the part where we share the issues and bugs which we see. So usually if you ask us, we have not encountered any noticeable or that kind of bug with it. So the minor things, even they, they work really fine, the phone calls, etc. So it's quite uh, impressive build if you ask us. If you uh, kind of notice any bug with your device, you can actually resort to soft reset, hard reset and see whether that makes it work smoothly because usually uh, during our hands-on time with the build we have not encountered any you know deal breaking kind of bug so with that uh, we come to end of the uh, review of the build we recommend it and wholeheartedly recommend it you can go install it and enjoy so thanks for watching stay tuned for more as it comes your way